So let us see a question from Revisionary Test Paper May 18. In that question number 15a, describe VAR and its application. VAR is a measure of the risk of investment given the normal market condition in a set of the period. Say one day it estimates how much an investment might lose. This investment can be a portfolio, capital investment or foreign exchange etc. VAR answers two basic questions. What is the worst case scenario and what will be the loss? It was first applied in 1922 in New York Stock Exchange, entered the financial world in 1990s and became world's most widely used measure of the financial risk. Following are the main features of VAR. 1. Components of the calculation. VAR calculation is based on following three components. First is the time period. Second is the confidence level, generally 95 to 99 percentage. Loss in percentage term or loss in the amount term. Second is the statistical method. It is a type of the statistical tool based on standard deviation. Time horizon. VAR can be applied for the different time horizon. One day, one week, one month and so on. Probability, assuming the values are normally attributed. So we understand this is a normal bale <coughs> uh, curve diagram. Probability of the maximum loss can be predicted <coughs> with 99% confidence level. Control risk. Risk can be controlled by selling limits for maximum loss. Z score, Z score indicates how many standard deviation is away from the mean of population. We know that Z is equal to X minus X bar divided by standard deviation. When it is multiplied with the standard deviation, it provides with the VAR. Application to measure the maximum possible loss on any portfolio or trading position. It is a benchmark for the performance measurement of any operation or the trading. Fixed limits for the individual dealing in front office of a treasury department. It enables the management to decide the trading strategies. It is a tool of the asset liability management and especially it is helpful to a bank. So here, so when the question is about the described VAR in its application, what they have included in the answer. First of all is a basic explanation. The features in that components of calculation, statistical method, time horizon, probability and the control risk. Z score. So these are the six things that say they have included in the main features. Then application, in that so the, to measure the maximum loss and so on, set so till asset liability management. See this is what so you need to understand, that in 4 marks question, this is the expectation that so they have, wherein you are giving so all these answers, if possible this 1922 and 1990, that is also what you are required to answer, but basically that say its components for the calculation, its application, all those things are required to be say properly mentioned by you. So revisionary test paper of November 18 in that question 14b describes the various parameters to identify the currency risk. So based on which factors you have to identify that said now I am going to have so the exposure to, to the currency risk that is what the question is. So the answer is just like interest rate risk, currency risk is dependent on government action. 
and economic development. Some of the parameters to identify the currency risk are. So they have not, not asked about the mitigation technique, they have provided only the identification. Action of government, nominal interest rate, inflation rate, natural calamities, war, coup, rebellion and change in the government. The government action of any country has visual impact in its currency. For example, the UK government decision to diverge from the EU Brexit through pound, sorry, broad pound to its lowest since 1980s. As per interest rate parity, currency exchange depends upon the interest that is nominal interest rate of the country. So with the increase in the rate of interest, value of that currency will fall down as per interest rate parity theorem. Same is the case for the inflation rate, natural calamity, again in that case, if at all you have made investment in that, that is a country, then its currency value will drop down. With the war, same thing will happen. Change in the central government frequently will not have the policies say, which are consistent. So again, it is going to be adverse for you. Next question from RTP November 19 in that question number 15D. Explain briefly the parameters to identify the currency risk. So how can we identify that say there is currency risk? That is a question. Some of the parameters to identify the currency risk are Action of government, nominal interest rate, inflation rate, natural calamities, war, coup, rebellion, change in government. Exactly the same question. Next question. It is from RTP May 20, question 14B. What is VAR? Identify its main features. So the answer of the question is, first of all, it's basic explanation. Then the features only have been asked upon. And that's the components of the calculation. Statistical method, time horizon, probability, control risk, Z score. So that is what you are required to mention. In respect of the VAR, the features have been asked upon over here. So the basic explanation. And then features in that the component of the calculation, statistical method, time horizon, probability, control risk and z-score. What I want to tell you important difference is that these head points and in that also writing the relevant portion will only give the answer that is a marks to you not otherwise. So the revisionary test paper November 20, question 14b. What is financial risk? How it can be evaluated from different point of views? So there are three point of view. One is investor, another is company and the third is the government. Financial risk is referred as unexpected changes in the financial conditions such as prices, exchange rate, credit rating, interest rate, etc. Though political risk is not a financial risk in a direct sense, but the same can be included as unexpected political change in any foreign country may lead to country risk which may ultimately result into a financial loss. The financial risk can be evaluated from the different point of view, from the stakeholders point of view. That is increase in the debt financing will have more risk to me. Whether I have made investment in equity share or I have made investment say in the debentures. Major stakeholders of the business are equity shareholders and they view financial gearing. The term gearing stands for introduction of the committed sources of finance in the capital sector. And that committed sources of finance is the debt financing. That is the ratio of the debt in the capital sector of the company as a risk since in the event of the winding up of the company 
they will be least prioritized. Means equity shareholders will be last in the queue to receive their amount. Even for a lender, existing gearing is also a risk since the company having higher gearing faces more risk in the default of the payment of the interest and principal repayment. Second is from the company point of view. Same answer is there, that is the introduction of the debt financing. From the company point of view, if the company borrows excessively or lend to someone who defaults, then it can be forced into the liquidation. From the government point of view, examples are Punjab uh, Bank, uh, we understand that say all those the things which create distrust say among the investors. From the government point of view, the financial risk can be viewed as a failure of any bank or like Lehman Brothers downgrading of any financial institution leading to spread of distrust among the society at a large. Even this risk also includes willful defaulters. Examples are like Nero Modi, Vijay Malia and huge list is there. This can also be extended to sovereign debt crisis. So, revisionary test paper of May 21, question number 14c. How an organization interested in making investment in foreign country can assess 1. Counterparty risk and second to mitigate this risk. Answer of the question is organization can assess the counterparty risk like this one by referring to the political ranking published by the different business magazines. Second, evaluating the country's macroeconomic conditions. Third, by analyzing the popularity of the current government and assess their stability. Fourth, by taking advices from the embassies of the home country into the host countries. So these are the four things with which you can make an assessment of the country risk. Let's say how far for me it is risky to do business over there. Further following techniques can be used to mitigate the, this risk. So how can you mitigate this risk? One. Local sourcing of the raw material and labor, joint venture, local financing and prior negotiation. These are the four methods by which you can have the mitigation of this risk. Mitigation means either you reduce it or you completely nullify that. Yeah, examination as question suggested November 18. Question number 3C. In the first examination paper, May 18, there was no question from this chapter. How different stakeholders view the financial risk? So again, it is the same question what we have recently discussed. From the shareholders and lenders point of view, from company point of view, and from government point of view. That is what we are required to answer over here. Same question is there. May 2019 examination, question number 2c, discuss the main application of VAR. So the application of the VAR is to measure the maximum possible loss on any portfolio or trading position, can be used as a benchmark for the performance measurement of any operation or the trading fixed limit for the individuals dealing in the front office, enable the management to decide about the trading strategies. It is a tool for the asset liability management and especially for the bank. These are the applications. Just be clear with the application features. All those things are different. So just be clear with that. July 2021 suggested In that question number 2c, 
describe the main features of VAR? That is a question. Yeah. Here are the features of the VAR. The first is the component of the calculation. The second is the statistical method, time horizon, probability, control risk and z-score. These are the head points and in that say you are required to write like this. In statistical method, time horizon, probability, control risk and z-score. These are the things that say you are required to mention. Friends, I already have provided to you say, a summary sheet of the entire chapter. In that, say, I have provided to you something like this. Types of the risk in which strategic risk, compliance risk, operational risk and financial risk. This, these are the four basic risks. In the strategic risk, what are included? Technological changes, new competitor entering into the market, shift in the customer's demand, increase in the cost of raw material, any number of the large scale changes. Those risks are included in the strategic risk. Case study they have provided for the Kodak, Nokia and Xerox. These two are negative examples and this is a positive example. For compliance risk we have the Kingfisher and Google. I have explained to you that in case of Google, so they had to pay a huge penalty because of the computation law. Operational risk is related to the people and process. Instead of 10,000, you pay 1 lakh. Then the financial risk in that, the prices changes adversely, exchange rate changes adversely, credit rating is going down, that is degradation and interest rate risk. Risk from the investor point of view, company point of view, government point of view. VAR in that, why VAR, methods of calculating VAR, features of VAR and application. So as a student you should be clear that in features which are the points will be there, in application what will be the points, why VAR 1922, 1990 that you can mention. As far as the counterparty risk is concerned, in financial risk they have uh, subdivided certain risk. Hints for the counterparty risk. 1. Failure to obtain necessary resources to complete the project or transaction. 2nd. Any regulatory restriction from the government. 3rd. Hostile action of the government. 4th. Let down by the third party. 5th. Have become insolvent. Techniques to manage the risk. First, carrying out the due diligence. Do not overcommit to a single entity or group. Know your exposure limit. Review the limits and the procedure for the credit approval regularly. Rapid action in case of the default and use performance guarantee. Then as far as the political risk is concerned, in that also I have provided to you a summary of the things that we already have done it. In case of interest rate risk identification, in currency risk identification. So I just try to provide you a summary of the entire explanation that we have done. That is what I try to provide you. So from examination point of view, we can see that say this chapter has been asked in examination in not in May 18, but in November 18, May 19. November 19, it was not asked. November 20, also not asked. January 21, not asked. And July 21, it was asked. So, like that say, comparatively it has less frequency to be asked as far as the theoretical questions are concerned. 
Otherwise, in the practical question, it has been asked there for a number of times.